Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Mezzo Vlogs, and today we will be reviewing the Jurassic Park Universal Studios Jeep or Rover. I, I honestly don't know what they called it. Alright, so something interesting about this <clears throat> set, I guess you could say. This is probably one of the only single uh, releases that was in this line. Mainly due to the fact how usually the vehicles will come with like a dinosaur and a human, or they will just come with another vehicle, which is interesting. But this one was its own thing. So something that's also interesting about this is mainly the fact how this is probably one of the easiest uh, pieces of this toy line that you're able to get. <clears throat> the reason why I say that is because everything else is usually more rare. Unless if you count the dinosaur four pack, you could easily get like a third party mold of this. But if you're talking about like the actual figures that were sold in New York Studios, it's a little bit more rare. Unless you're able to find them for a really good price. I mean, I guess you can because there are people out there that don't really know the history behind them and they'll just sell them for whatever price. But usually they will go for pretty much a lot of money. And really, I guess if you really want one of these figures, your best bet is getting this one. Only problem though is that it would probably be around $50. Which, I, yeah, it's a shame, but at the same time, these were, like, limited, so, yeah. Also, something that's neat is that this is one of the only two Jeeps that were made for this line. All the other cars were actually Rovers. So, yeah, and the only Jeeps that you got were, obviously, this yellow and red one. And you got this full-on green one, which I actually have. But back onto the Jeep itself, let's get into the vehicle. Alright, so as you can see here you got Jurassic Park Universal Studios stickers on this side and the other side. The front, you are able to unlatch the top piece. Which you will be able to see a little Jurassic Park you know, Studios banner thing with a Spinosaurus and yet again you are able to put this back in so if you don't want the sticker there I mean you could take it off but I mean I guess that will be a waste of money because you spent a bunch of money trying to get this and you ended up taking off the stickers which is kind of dumb whatever whatever over here we got the a T-Rex silhouette sticker on the side I guess it's supposed to be fitting with old dinosaur theme so I get yeah I actually kind of get it because if this is supposed to be a like a safari vehicle like a tour vehicle I couldn't understand if they're going for like Isla Sorna or Isla Nubar and showing guests the dinosaurs I guess it would make sense over here you got a fire extinguisher that is painted black you got some yellow rims, which is a common theme for Jurassic Park. The back, it's supposed to have a spare tire, but sadly I cannot find mine. It is gone. So yeah. Other side, you know, Jurassic Park, you know, studios. And yeah, it's pretty neat how the front part is all yellow up to the door, and all the back part and the back part and the um. The rim, I would just say. I mean, I am not. A, I, I do not know much about cars. I'm sorry. We see it all. The red also comes around the front. See the bumper is black as well as the hook. Back, and it comes with a little trailer part. Sadly, none of these came with trailers, so it's kind of useless. But it's there. And of course, you got this piece, which you are indeed able to take off and put back on. So I, guess, so I guess the only actual play feature of this would probably be the top crate, which you press down and... It 
it has this very generic dinosaur roar. Personally, I wish that they made it like one of the Jurassic Park audio dinosaurs, but at the same time, they're probably trying to do their own thing. But hey, whatever works. So overall, this is actually not that bad, even though it's obviously very cheap. I mean, it fits in with all the other figures very well. If you just ignore the plastic quality and the, you know, that. Nah, but I guess you could probably oil it up or something, put some oil in it, and it would wouldn't be that bad. But overall, it can roll, obviously. And really, it's not that bad of a thing. I know a lot of people don't like the Jurassic Park Universe Studios line because of the cheapness and how they were made by Royal Republic instead of um, Kenner or Hasbro. But at the same time, it's it's actually pretty neat because it's, it's God, I cannot speak. It's pretty neat because it's pretty much its own thing, and I actually kind of like it. So as for comparisons, here it is compared to a Kenner figure a Mattel figure which actually fits in this thing pretty well not gonna lie a Mattel Raptor the dinosaur four pack set from Universe Studios as well a Java Spear and a Kenner Bush Devil Trucker by the way, I do not own the Mattel Jeep, so this is like the closest you'll get. Alright, that be that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Personally, this is actually one of my favorite pieces of the Jurassic Park toy lines in general. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But like always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.